Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis and welcome back to another video. Now, you guys have been requesting a in-depth video of everything that I experienced during and after the 300 gallon overhaul. And uh, yeah, so this is just kind of one more in the series. Now, if you've missed the previous videos in this, definitely check it out and then come back here so you know what I'm talking about because if you don't watch those, you're, you're not going to know what's going on. So with that said, let's go ahead and talk about uh, some things that I dealt with that were not not fun. So removing the rocks from this tank. If you guys remember, I went ahead and removed this middle rock structure here. I took it out, power washed it, got all the coral off, let it sit outside for uh, a couple days, killed off everything on it so I can put it back in the tank. Now there was another one to the right of that, which was kind of loose and not you know, as stable as it should be. I took that out and just kind of chiseled off all the coral that I wanted to save on it. It was it was pretty much done. So with that, I went ahead and put that rock structure back in this tank, and then I took the uh, left and right one, brought them a little bit closer in hopes of making it look somewhat okay. Now with that, uh, not only did I remove automatically just half of the beneficial bacteria at one time, uh, and then only replacing half of that, so uh, even even then, uh, the, a lot of the bacteria on that rock structure was dead or killed during the cleaning process and sitting outside. So with that, I did have a uh, spike in uh, nitrates and phosphates in this tank. Nothing too crazy, but the glass of the tank was getting relatively dirty really quickly. Like within five or six hours, you couldn't even see through this tank for the first week or two. And it was just because of the imbalance in uh, beneficial bacteria opposed to the fish waste. Now, even though I did remove fish from this tank, it's not removed from the system because Big Bertha is now in this tub here. So she's still doing her business in the, in the water column. So uh, I, I ended up just removing rock or beneficial bacteria, keeping the same fish. Now I did adjust my feeding. I did take a day off or every other day off just because I wanted to, again, give the tank a little bit of time to adjust. But yes, I definitely got a nitrate and phosphate spike. It did go away. Um, I did do a small water change just to kind of help it out a little bit. But overall, uh, it, it just took time for it to kind of bounce back out. Now with that, I did end up getting a diatom bloom and get a little bit of algae on that middle rock structure because I did end up turning the lights on a few days after putting it back in the tank. Of course, with it being outside and the biofilm dying off and you know basically cleaning it off completely with the power washer, it uh, when it was exposed to light and the bacteria in this tank, it ended up uh, getting relatively nasty for a few days, but again, nothing too crazy. I wasn't growing major hair algae or anything like that. It was just dirty. It was diatoms. It looked like just brown nastiness. But again, that kind of went away and it's really just back to normal. Kind of. And uh, if you guys remember, this rock structure here, this little section here was completely white, and now it's got coralline algae growing on it, corals growing on it, and crusting, and it looks pretty good. Now, granted, I, I did break the rock structure a little bit here, so I'm going to have to glue that back together, but either way, it's doing pretty well. So, that was the first thing. I uh, ended up messing up my beneficial bacteria, and I figured it was going to happen, so, you know, I, I ended up doing this uh, overhaul when my nutrients were already relatively low. So I kind of planned it out just because I figured something's gonna go on here. And I figured with the fish still going to the bathroom, still doing the thing, still eating, and removing all that beneficial bacteria, I was just going to end up getting a spike at some point, and which I did, it wasn't too bad, and uh, yeah. The next thing I dealt with was fish aggression. Uh, it got pretty bad in here with uh, Big Blue here. Uh, he got extremely aggressive. I don't know if he was just part of the pecking order with Big Bertha. Big Bertha never fought any fish in this tank that I ever noticed. And uh, when I removed her, he just kind of went ham. It might have been a mixture of that and then removing a rock structure, which is just territory. But he started really beating up a lot of the other fish. But I did take that opportunity to go ahead and add uh, two more uh, hippo tangs. This little guy here, this little guy here. So that gives four for this tank. And... Um, that helped even out some of the aggression. He kind of got busy getting distracted with everything else. I also went ahead and added a couple Scopus tanks, again, trying to spread that aggression out in the tank. And what, what better time than when just kind of resetting to put all the fish in there. But now that it's been a little over a month, everybody's doing pretty well now that I see my Scopus tanks beating each other up. But okay, 90% of the fish are doing pretty well in here. And I really like the look of having four hippo tanks. Um, and uh, well, I do plan on adding more tanks down the road. But for now, this is, this is pretty good. So um, now speaking of that, when it comes to adding fish to this tank, even though I want to, I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to go about it. Because again, we are missing a lot of beneficial bacteria. I might add rock to the sump. I might put some in the tub here. I might even just throw some in the low boys that are just sitting here, depending if I keep them or not. 
But either way, um, I'm gonna have to make some kind of adjustment or add some kind of beneficial media as, of some sort. Now you guys know that I'm not a fan of Marine Pier for the aluminum issue, but um, yeah, so I'll, I will cross that road or that bridge, uh, however, whatever term you wanna use when the time comes. But for now, everybody seems to be doing well. They're eating, they're happy, they're fat, and uh, it just it looks pretty good. So uh, what other issues that I had besides my Trident, you can't really see it, it's down here. Besides the water waistline not working anymore and it filling up but not working and I got to send it in um, I, I didn't have any other equipment issues besides that the calcium reactor I definitely had to turn it down as you can imagine removing all that coral even though I put it in the tub here It still has to adjust to uh, The lighting and uh, you know, just adjust to the tank in general I did sell a bunch of coral packs at that point at point in time as well. So I had to make some adjustments to my calcium reactor. Basically all I did was just let the Trident uh, test every day and then just dial it down as I go. Speaking of Big Bertho, what's up, homie? And there's that Lobo. I end up, it's so big that I end up getting hit by a power head in the other tank, so I had to remove it and put it in here. But uh, yeah, so I'm, I will talk about that in a later video. I have to just decide what I'm gonna do with that coral uh, just yet. But anyways, uh, yeah, so dealing with the uh, alkalinity issues, just making sure they're stable. Uh, that was key, and thankfully the Trident was working, and then it just <laughs> kind of stopped working about a week ago, but yeah, we'll figure that out. Uh, the next thing uh, that I did, which wasn't really an issue uh, besides, uh, you guys know that I use Jable Powerheads. I got a couple left in this tank. I did have one over here in the addition, or two over here. Two of them died during the cleaning process, so they're completely gone, and I went ahead and just put my Nero 5s in here. You can see, um, I pulled these out of the low boys. They're pretty good. I put three in here. Ooh, kind of moving around. So we got three over on this side with a uh, J-Bow, and then I have one at the bottom over here with two J-Bows at the top. Uh, Flow-wise, I mean, they do move water, and, you know, I'm not using the low boys right now, so it works out pretty good with them being in the 300, at least for now. So, uh, yeah, I lost two power heads during the process, even cleaning them, double-checking. They just stopped working completely. I double-checked my um, variable speed uh, modules, the cores, the power cores, the power adapters. They were just dead. So it happens. You guys know that I've been losing Jable Powerheads over the last few years, and uh, I haven't been buying anymore, and I don't plan on doing so. I just have to figure out what other pumps I want to use once we start really growing out these colonies. But other than that, there hasn't been any major issues. I can think of maybe one other thing that really wasn't an issue, but just kind of was a pain. When I went ahead and replaced the lighting here, you guys know that I had some issues with my Radions. I actually have five of them that died over the last two months for various reasons. I gotta send those in with, to Ecotech. But the issue I had was with this aqua, aquatic life fixture, um, changing out the blue plus bulbs, you can see there. I went ahead and got new blue, blue plus bulbs and the fixture itself was just kind of really getting flimsy. I don't know if it was just being over the tank, exposed to the heat or exposed to the salt water, but it just got, it felt extra flimsy. Pieces were falling apart out of it and you know just chunks of it was falling apart as I was removing the bulb so but again you got to think this is a, a metal fixture that's sitting over a saltwater tank exposed to a ton of heat from lights I mean it's been going for what almost four years five years now something like that or I don't know I've been here for a while since 2017 I don't know what year it is either way it's been a while so I'm gonna forgive it on that uh, real, realistically, that's about it. There hasn't been any major issues. I did turn off the calc reactor, as I mentioned before. It's still attached to the system, but I'm not using it because uh, it, I don't have any need. The calcium reactor is dialed down because we're not using a lot of or consuming a lot of alkalinity. So until the calcium reactor is not capable of handling this tank, um, we're going to keep the calc reactor off and then you know, at some point we'll turn it back on when we need it. But yep, other than that, everything is good. Clean the pumps, clean the power heads, clean the returns clean the skimmer and uh yeah everything is is good um at the moment i'm just kind of restarting the grow out tub um big birth is in there so seems to be pretty happy um cutting up colonies healing out some coral um cleaning out the tub just kind of getting things back on track because we've been just slacking over the last six to nine months it's been a pretty rough uh, couple years for me if you've been on the channel you guys know that i got a lot of personal stuff going on so the tank took a back seat, life just in general took a back seat. So right now, restarting the 300, putting new frags in there, putting some new rock, taking care of the tub here, getting everything all set. It's just kind of rebuilding. Now, unfortunately, it does cut down on my coral sales, but I, you know, I do have you know coral packs up st up there still. You know, there's still other corals on there that I'll be adding. But either way, overall, happy with the system. 
it wasn't that difficult to do the overhaul. Um, it was time consuming. It needed to be done. I'm glad I did it and uh, I, I wouldn't change it. So with that said, guys, hopefully I answered all your questions. I, I rambled a lot here. Was no script, just kind of off the top of my head. Uh, you'd be surprised talking for 10 minutes. Yeah, I don't remember anything I said. But either way, <laughs> that's it, guys. Uh, if you, again, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section and I will answer them. All right. Till next time. Peace.